welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to cover how to complete an estimate for concrete for a slab and continuous footing. Let's get started. First step is to get your plans uploaded into the system. Once you have them uploaded, make sure that your scale is set correctly. I can see that my scale has currently been set because I can see that it's set to 52 feet, 2 inches. At this point here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select one of the templates that I have within my system. Once I select templates, I'm going to select the footings, yards of concrete. From here, I'm going to simply go through, hit the play button, change any information as need be, and then come to our variable screen where once again I can adjust a few items. For this, I'm going to simply just adjust my yards of concrete because I know that my footing is only 18 inches wide. I know that it is also 24 inches deep. Everything else appears to look good to me. For example, my rebar chairs, every 16 inches on center, my rebar ties, and also my concrete reinforcements. At this point, let's go ahead and hit save and start our measurements. From here, we're gonna simply click around just as we would with any other measurement. As we're doing it, it will be calculating out all the material that was just previously listed within the variable screen. Next, we're going to select our concrete slab template. Once again, adjust anything as needed. Go ahead and hit start. And in here, we are going to adjust our slab thickness by selecting the black button there, simply entering four inches. We also can enter any type of cost and so forth and so on within this item. We're also going to adjust our rebar grid sizes to 24 inch grid by 24 inch grid. Lastly, we're gonna review our rebar ties, our visqueen, and our wire mesh. Everything appears good. We're gonna go ahead and hit save and continue on. As we do with the continuous footings, we're gonna go ahead and measure around, calculate our slab. Once again, calculating out the total cubic yards, the visqueen, the rebar chairs, the wire mesh, and also the rebar that's needed for this. Once we get to the end, we'll simply stop it, and there we go. Now to review our quantities, we'll simply select the estimate button and go to the page. We are currently set on the foundation page, so let's look for that in the estimate. Once I select estimate, I can see our foundation page here. I can see footing yards of concrete and concrete slab. Once I expand those two items, I can see my quantities here. I can see that I have a total of 38.42 cubic yards of concrete for my footings, I have a total of 37.42 cubic yards of concrete for my slab. I can also see the totals for all the other items. And that's it. Thanks for watching today's video.